Hi, it's great to choose you again. In this video, I will describe the second section of CDAS Lighthouse AI Digital Twin project, which we can explore the what, why, and how of AI Digital Twins. Firstly, let's revisit what an AI Digital Twin is. It's an exciting concept that's fusing idea from artificial intelligence and like the Internet of Things to create digital models of the real-world objects, systems, or processes. This model can then be used to adjust and train variables to study the effect on the real-world object. Now, let's take the concept one step further with a AI digital twin. It's a virtual model of a physical object or system that uses AI to simulate and predict its behavior in real-world scenarios. Machine learning algorithms are incorporated to analyze and learn from data collected by the AI digital twin. It allows the AI digital twin to make prediction about the future behavior of the physical object or system. Some truly groundbreaking AI digital twin has been developed in recent years that are inspiring the industry and helping to push the envelope of what is possible in many fields. For example, the EU-funded uh, Neural Twin Project aim to simulate specific human brains in order to predict the best treatment for conditions such as Alzheimer's and epilepsy. Another innovative example is the AI digital twin of the city of Shanghai, which models 100,000 elements from refuse disposal to e-bike charging infrastructure, road traffic, and the site location of apartment building. It's helping authorities to plan and react in the face of the COVID-19 and it can be simulate the effect of nature disasters such as flooding to add with response planning. Even sports stadiums are getting in on the action. With the Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles having its own digital twin, it models not just the stadium itself, but also the Hollywood Park campus around it. It collects real-time data from every area of the park operations into a single platform that can be used to answer questions from event organizers. From above, we can see that businesses all around the globe are embracing the AIDT technology for a broad range of locations. But why do we need AI digital train this technology? Well, according to the statistical chart from the Global Market Insight, the digital twin market size surpassed $8 billion in 2022, and it's expected to grow and whooping 25% CAGR between 2023 and 2032. The machine and equipment healthy monitoring segment is anticipated to reject a 25% growth rate through 2032 and it's thanks to growing organization focus on digital twin deployment to modernize the asset monitoring and maintenance process. And the Europe digital twin market for example is poised to hold over 25% revenue share by 2032. Furthermore, to scale up industry for deployment, the government aims to encourage investment in technical innovation, which is likely to increase the regional market share. And the benefits don't stop there. Let's take a look at some of the specific benefits that AI digital training has brought to the companies. Tesla, for example, has created a digital simulation of every one of these cars. By collecting data from sensors on the virtuals and uploading it to the cloud, 
The company's AI algorithm can determine where faults and、uh, breakdowns are most likely to occur. It not only reduces the cost of serving cars under warranty, but also improves the user's experiment, and leading to more satisfied customers and a higher chance to winning repeat business. And at the meanwhile. Unilever and Microsoft have teamed up to create a virtual vision of Unilever's global plant, allowing real-time changes to optimize output, reduce waste, and use materials more precisely by using advanced analysis tests. Algorithm map up the best operational conditions to limit waste from products that don't meet quality standards. It has already saved Unilever about two point eight million dollars at one set, while driving a one percent to three percent increase in productivity. Its innovative technology is a significant step towards creating a sustainable future and show how big companies can make a significant environment impact. And according to the chart from the Grand View Research, digital twin technology is booming in every industry. The automotive and the transportation sectors lead the pack, according for over twenty percentage of total revenue in twenty twenty two, thanks to the popularity of learn adoption electric. Virtuous and simulation technologies. By using digital twin, engineering can access data on vehicle behavior and operations to improve design and optimize cost. And with connected and、uh, autonomous vehicle on the rise, the demand for digital twin is expected to soar. But it's not just the automotive industry that's benefiting. Telecommunications, residential, and、uh, healthcare section are also expected to grow as digital twin technology supports complex network design and upgrade the existing the infrastructure. And in healthcare, digital twin are being used to study data from infected patients to help develop future treatments. My simulate study, the potential for digital twin across industries is massive. So now that we have covered what a digital twin is and why it's useful, so let's talk about how to use it. First thing, we need to build a high quality data set. The data set can be accessed by anyone in the organization to. Uh, solve different business challenges, and then we need to build a AI digital model. That the machine learning and deep learning algorithm are used to scale the capabilities of the dataset. It allows us to simulate different scenarios and unlock more predictive use cases. And the AI digital twin can become even more powerful when. Interconnected. This allowed organization to simulate complex relationship between different entities and generate richer behavior insights for more complex use cases. As enterprise mentor universe began to form, company can connect digital twin from different area, function, and operation. And now. We have known that the core of AI digital twin is the high quality, structured, and ready to use dataset. But how can we make sure we can have the access to all the data we need in one place? This is where the data ingestion comes in handy. So, what exactly is data ingestion? It is a process of absorbing data from a vast multitude of sources and、uh, transferring it to a target site where it can be analyzed and deposited. The target site can be document store, database, 
data warehouse or even a data mart. Now let's talk about why data ingestion is so critical for digital twin. Digital twin are models of physical assets or systems that replicate real world behavior in a digital environment. This model needs to be uploaded with real time data from the physical assets or systems they are molding. This is where data ingestion comes in by ingesting data from various sources into a centralized repository. We can ensure that our digital tree model is accurate and uh, up to date. So what are the steps involved in data ingestion? The first step is to identify the data sources that will be used. Once the data sources has been identified, the next step is to extract the data from the source. This can be done using a variety of tools such as APIs, data connectors, or the extra transfer load tools. And after the data has been extracted, it may need to be clean and transformed to ensure that it is a format that can be used for analysis. And uh, finally, the data will be loaded into the centralized repository, such as the data warehouse or data lakes. And from this imagery, we can see that data ingestion is the process of extracting data from various sources that's loading it into a destination area. It involves applying light transformations, such as filtering or enriching data, before writing it to a message query or data store. More complex transformations can be performance with supplementary pipelines. And uh, for the data ingestion, it can ensure uniformity by turning different types of data into a uniform format. It's easy to read and manipulate, and it can make data available to everyone in the company, from developer and uh, BI analysts to sales team and uh, executives. Plus, it saves valuable time and uh, money for engineers trying to collect it and develop data in fashions. And how do we choose the right data ingestion tool? There are a few key factors to consider. Firstly, what the format is our data? Is the structured, semi-structured, or unstructured? And secondly, do we need to ingest and uh, process data in real time or batches? And thirdly, what is the value of the data the ingestion tools has to handle? And the finally, is there any sensitive data that needs to be protected or obfuscated? And the data ingestion is a crucial step in AIDT process and having the right data ingestion layer and tools is essential for ensuring inventions and uh, effective data processing. By understanding how data ingestion works and why it's important, you can make informed decisions about how to manage and uh, process your data. Once we have a high quality structured data set, the next step is to come up with algorithms and machinery methods to build a AIDT based on the use case we have identified it. The key to choose a suitable algorithm or method for AIDT is to carefully evaluate the problem and the data to experiment with different options to find the best solution. So let's explore some interesting use cases for AI Digital Twin. Like first, a smart city AI Digital Twin uses AI and uh, data analysis to simulate and analyze different aspects of city operations and uh, infrastructure. It can help city planners and decision makers to inform decisions based on the real-time data 
and uh, predict the analyze leading to more efficient and successful city operations. And uh, for a sports club AI digital twin, it also use AI and uh, analyze to simulate the different aspects of sports club operations and uh, performance. It help uh, like ho- coaches, trainers to make the informed decision based on the real time data, and uh, it can lead to improve performance on the film and uh, increase revenue of in the film. And for the transportation and digital train that can be used to analyze various aspects of transportation system, such as the traffic flow, the public transportation usage, and the road infrastructure leading to more efficient and a sustainable transportation system. And if you are interested in our Lighthouse AIDT project, please join our community. And uh, thanks for your listening. Please stay tuned for the release of our future content on the AI Digital Twin.